Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started today. What we're gonna be doing is drawing a Chinese dragon. So this has a lot of steps to it and a lot of curving lines and also a lot of pointed shapes. Um, but you are welcome to use your own creativity to change steps as we go. You can add your own details or you can also skip a few steps too if you need to, to draw the dragon the way that you would like. Now remember also that you can pause this video as we go, just in case you need to stop um, and slow down a little bit because I might be going a little bit fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with two circles right in the middle of the paper. So these circles are about the same size and right in the center. What's gonna be fun about this one is that we're going to use symmetry. So symmetry means that if we were to fold this paper in half, if there was an invisible line on this paper, things would be the same on both sides, kind of like a mirror image. So I have these two circles in the middle and then I'm going to draw a curve above each circle. Then what I'm going to do next is do an upside down V connecting those two curved lines above the circles. So there's my upside down V. And then I'm gonna draw a few more. And don't forget, you can use your creativity to leave certain steps off or change things as you go. So next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the eyes. So these are, in case you can't tell yet, these are the nostrils <clears throat> for the dragon's nose. Then we're gonna draw slightly bigger circles up here on each side of those upside down V shapes. Next step, what I'm going to do is draw the eyebrows. So the eyebrows are kind of like this stretched out, curved shape. You might even say it looks almost kind of like a letter S if the letter S were really stretched out. Then I'm gonna to try to draw the same line on the other side. And again, it's probably not gonna be perfect. It's hard to make everything perfectly symmetrical, but do your best to try to get your lines about the same. But be patient with yourself too, and remember that um, it's okay to pause and stop this if you need a little bit of extra time to keep drawing. Next, I'm going to draw a curve under the eye to connect. So again, I'm just gonna draw a curved line under the eyes. And I can see already that the right eye is a little bit bigger, and that's okay. Next up, I'm going to draw another curved line above the eye, right about there, and another one again on this side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these with upside, more upside down Vs. So this is going to look kind of like fire. And again here, upside down V. Actually, no, these Vs would kind of be the right way, wouldn't they? <laughs> the right way Vs. You could almost say this looks kind of like a W inside there too. So again, change it as you need to. Take your time, pause it um, if you need to also. That's absolutely fine. All right, next we're gonna move on to, we're actually gonna move down to the mouth. So we are going to draw um, and another upside down V right about here, right between these two nostrils. And then from there, we're going to draw a straight line that goes down. It looks almost like an arrow. I'm going to add a few more shapes to go under we're going to stretch out a V, another V shape and go right under that nostril. Go on each side. I'm not going to quite meet that line yet. Next, I'm going to 
draw another V right there, and then come down, another V right there, and then come down. Next, I'm going to draw a curved line going out this way, and then another one of those kind of stretched out wavy shapes that's going to meet right here. Another stretched out wavy shape. All right, let's move on to the, this is kind of like the top of the dragon's mouth. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of his mouth. So I'm gonna draw a big U shape right below it. And then I'm going to imitate that U shape and draw another one. I'm gonna make it a little thinner at the top and just a little thicker at the bottom so it almost looks like a lip, how it gets bigger at the bottom and a little bit closer together at the top. While I'm here, I think I will draw the rest of the dragon's chin too before I start on the dragon's teeth. So I'm going to draw another line really close up here, another one of those curvy lines that's stretched out and comes all the way down, another one that comes all the way down way down there. He's going to have a beard. <laughs> and then we're going to draw an upside down V, come back down, an upside down U, come back down, and one more upside down V. All right, let's move on to the teeth. So now I'm going to draw a V shape on each side of the top part of the mouth. And then I'll draw just a couple little W's up here too. This guy has some pretty sharp teeth. Then down here, I'll draw another upside down V And then, what's the letter W when it's flipped upside down? An M. So, I'm going to draw the letter M now. All right, I am done with my dragon's mouth. Now we're going to move back up to the top and just finish up his head. So, I'm going to move this a little bit. What we're going to do is we are going to draw the, <clears throat> the sides of his face. So what I'm going to do is draw these big lines that come out and then go back in. Then I'll draw another one that comes out and goes back in. Kind of like, I like a fiery shape. Another one that goes out, comes down, and then maybe one more big one at the top for a horn. I actually ran out of room up at the top here, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna use some overlapping here and come down just behind these. So it's almost like this line continues, we just can't see it. Now I'm gonna try to do that again over here. And it, you know, it's not gonna be easy to make it perfectly symmetrical and that's okay. Just do your best to try to make it about the same on each side. So I'm gonna go out and come in, go out, and come back in. I'm gonna go up here, kind of like a horn shape. And see, I didn't even come close to meeting the eyebrow on that side, and that's totally okay. Uh, another horn shape, and then we're gonna come down and use a little overlapping here, like it's coming down behind his eyebrows. Lastly, we have just a couple more things to do. We're going to draw some curve shapes connecting across this is kind of like his forehead up here, or the top of his head. So you'll have those lines. And now you can add some details. You can start adding little things that you would like to um, add to your dragon. You can add even more 
curved lines coming out behind his head um, that look kind of like fire. And you can also add the whiskers that come out um, out of his nose. I don't know if you've seen a Chinese dragon in a parade or anything like that, but what you can do is draw these little shapes that start um, overlapping behind, well, the, the mustache overlaps them, and just draw them behind the mustache. And then they kind of come down in another curved shape and they look kind of like that. Like they have an end. I'll draw another one right here. And then come back up. All right, so feel free to add any details that you want to make this dragon look as fierce or as interesting as you'd like. And I hope you have a good day and we'll see you soon.